What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at some borrow phones. They sent me these because they're needing some help getting off the ground. They are not ready for full mass production. Apparently they're going to be by the end of the month um, of October or so, but they do have a Kickstarter going on, so I'm gonna leave that down below. These ones are very unique. These are a two-in-one. So you can see here they're earbuds, but they're also they also have a like a single earbud piece. They're IPX4 rated, so they're sweat proof and they're they're a little waterproof, you know, for like light rain, stuff like that. They have 10 millimeter drivers on them, so hopefully they sound pretty good. They do come in three different colors, so you can get them in black gold or red. We've got the gold ones here. They run off of Bluetooth 4.1. They have a 10 meter distance and I think that's like 32 feet or so. The battery life on them will get you about four hours of music and talk time with a standby time of 60 hours and only a two hour charge time. All right, let's just open this thing up. Ooh, oh, those are very nice. Wow, I like that gold look. Cool box. So we got a nice little carrying case. Borrow phone logo right on it. We got a warranty card and we got instructions. Don't need any of that. We've got a small six inch USB to micro USB cable. We got some extra low blogs and we've got a nice little ear hook just in case you want to hook it onto that. I don't know if that's aluminum or what, but it feels like metal. It's metallic. So it feels like metal. It's a nice uh, kind of rose goldish looking color. It's got the ergonomic little curve to it, which is good. Here's the actual connection um, cable. It's a micro USB cable, but this is where you actually dock the brain. Now the brain also is this nice uh, metallic looking material. On the side you've got your plus and minus. On the side you've got your multifunction button. You've got the, the nice little ear snug thingy. I don't even remember what you call that, but it's like a low blog. It's a modified low blog. But this comes off of here. So this is the actual brain of the entire thing right here. That's all it is. This, this is what makes it all happen. So if you want to use it independently just like this, you pop it in. Boom. Now you're good to go. That passes. Cool. This is where it gets interesting. So, say you don't want to use it like that. You want to use the earbuds. You want to maybe go work out. You want to go running. You want to do something a little more with uh, some activity. You plug it into here. And now these are ready to go. Isn't that cool? It's a transformer. So this is supposed to, I think you do this number, I think. You put it down here. You go like this. You stretch it out like that. There you go. And then you put them over your head like this. Now it just hangs. But it's super lightweight. I mean, it, and these are really comfortable. Oh, I'm giving myself a headache. They passed. They didn't even move. Not even a little bit. Very nice. Very comfortable. I'm digging it. Ready to pair battery medium. That's cool. Every time you turn it on, it tells you the battery level. So that's cool. There it is. The Borophone BE10. Oh. Whoa, what? Whoa, the bass is crazy. Let's switch it out. <clears throat> okay, so now this one does not have that sound that I just heard a second ago. I'm gonna do some more Good Mythical Morning here. I don't see any kind of lag. All right, I'm gonna check the distance. Okay, so I got about 40-ish feet and then it started cutting out. All right, let's make a phone call. Let's call Nathan. Hey, what to do? Testing out some headphones. How do I sound? Do I sound like I'm on like a speakerphone or anything? Do I sound better now? Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna try something real quick. Hold on. Can you hear me? You can still hear me? Cool. Hey, say say something. Huh, okay, cool. What are you up to? Oh, you're at work? Oh, all right. Well, I've used you for what I need you for. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so let me take this off real quick. Ugh. Okay, so a couple things. First, the cons. The cable system that you've got going on here. It's like a little lopsided, and then you gotta kind of fix it, so it's a little cumbersome. It's not that big of a deal. The second thing is that there is a huge quality difference in using this compared to these. Listen to music, there's no depth, there's no, uh, there, there's no bass, there's nothing. And and then on top on top of that, talking on the phone. Say you're using these; they sound fantastic. But when you're on the phone, this is hanging way down, right? So you're gonna want to probably hold it like this and talk, which is not that big of a deal. But when you switch over to this, he said it sounded better because the microphone was closer to my head, but he sounded terrible. At that point, it was actually cutting out a little bit. So whatever this is, <laughs> I don't know if this is the same speaker that's in here. It definitely does not sound like it. I would honestly just take this whole mechanism right here 
and put it onto this. I wouldn't use a separate style or anything. But overall, I think it's a great little idea. I mean, as far as the single earpiece style, this is the slickest one that I've ever seen. It's super slim. It looks very, very sharp. I would love to see this in black, and even the red would probably look really good. I think it's a great design. I think it's a really cool idea. I like the fact that you can just transform it from one to the other, depending on what you're doing, what your mood is, how you're wanting to use your headphones. These sound fantastic, though. I would give the highs and mids like an 8, and the bass I'd give like a 9. The bass sounded great. It had some nice thump to it. I think they're going to do really well. I think there's going to be a lot of people that are actually going to really enjoy these. I see why they would because of, they're very diverse. You can you can use them for multiple things. So And it does a pretty decent job. It just doesn't do as good of a job at this part. Um, that speaker definitely needs improvement. If you think this is something that you guys are going to look forward to, go check it out over at Kickstarter. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. Go check it out for yourself. But as for now, get out of here.